What's up guys, I'm Shams and today we're making a version of Ratatouille from the movie Ratatouille. This version is called, excuse my French, Confit Bialdi. Confit Bialdi is just a modern take on what is known as a peasant dish from the 18th century where the poor farmers would have to use all of their summer vegetables before they went back. For this recipe, you'll be using two Chinese eggplant, two zucchini, two yellow squash, six Roma tomatoes, half of a yellow onion, and 28 oz of crushed peeled tomatoes. We'll go over the seasonings later on the video. Alright, let's get started. Now we're going to use a sharp knife to make a cross on the tomatoes, just like this. And make sure not to go too deep. Then we're going to blanch them in boiling hot water which is just a fancy way of saying dumping them in boiling water for about 30 seconds any longer than that and we'll get mushy like mine did as the skin starts to separate we're going to immediately put in a cold bath filled with a bunch of ice cubes and then place that bowl of tomatoes to the side and then we're going to start slicing up our veggies I'm using a nice sharp chef knife to slice up the veggies. I feel like it works the best. But you can also use a food processor or a mandolin slicer which will make your life a whole lot easier. And as you can see, I'm keeping the veggies separate to make it easy to layer in a pattern for later. And as we finish up the veggies, we're gonna move on to the tomatoes that we blanched earlier. Look how easy that skin just peels off and we'll slice them thin but I blanched this one for a little too long and now it's all mushy but that's okay maybe we can try with the skin on and look at that guys that works the slices will be a little more thicker but that's okay blanching the tomatoes will just release that robustness when we bake them later on next chop up that onions I love garlic, so I'll be using six large cloves. Place that knife away from you and smash that bad boy to release the flavor. And look at that, it also makes it easy to chop as well. Next, turn up that heat to medium and we're gonna roast the bell peppers. Make sure to rotate them to get an even char on all sides. And once they're all done, we're gonna place them in a foil wrap and wrap that up like a baby and just let it cool. Once the bell peppers are cooled down, we're going to chop them up. Let's get lost in the sauce. Tablespoon of olive oil, put that onions in there, saute until translucent. Add in that garlic. Saute again. Then we're going to gently pour in the crushed tomatoes. Almost forgot, add in the chopped roasted bell peppers and let's start seasoning. We're going to start with 2 teaspoons of salt, a tablespoon of cracked black pepper, a tablespoon of herbs de Provence, teaspoon of crushed red pepper for that extra kick, six basil leaves, and two strands of fresh thyme. Mix those complex flavors into the sauce. Get that blender out. Gently pour in the sauce. Almost burned my hand there trying to pour in. I'm going to clean up that spill really quick and press that puree button, sit back and enjoy. It's getting it takes like 40 seconds. Pour in that sauce into an oven safe dish or a pan. Now we'll nicely even out that tangy bed of deliciousness. I'm going to layer in a pattern. I'm using eggplant, tomatoes, zucchini and squash. We keep on repeating until you have that beautiful circular pattern. I got my fancy bottle of olive oil here. Evenly pour that olive oil to coat the whole pan. 
I'm a little extra, so I made this beautiful parchment flower. You can just put parchment paper on. Then turn up that oven to 320 degrees Fahrenheit and let it sit for 90 minutes. Once we're near the 6 minute mark, we're going to pair it with the sourdough bread. Slap on generous amount of butter and let it toast to its golden brown. That bread will just elevate the flavor to create more complex depth with the ratatouille. Look at that beauty! Now we're going to gently place the ratatouille, make a nice and fancy plate. Believe it or not, this was my first attempt at the ratatouille and it came out pretty damn good. Presentation is key here. If the food looks good, it'll taste even better. I'm gonna add in the two pieces of sourdough bread and let's taste it, baby. Bon appetit. Voila. You can really taste the basil, the herb de bourbon coming through. The deep richness of the eggplant just melts in your mouth. Here you go. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I tried to make the steps very easy to follow through so you don't have to stop at every single step. I also listed the recipe in the description below. Also, if you're making a ratatouille for one to two people, just cut the ingredients and all the spices in half and it will be mm, delicious. And I'm also very excited to share some of my favorite dishes with you, which mostly consists of comfort food. A lot of it could be used for meal prep and it's loads of pasta. Let me know in the comment below what you'd like to see more of and what type of recipe you'd like to see. I'll also put the link below for the chef knife that I use. If you're buying anything from Amazon, I'll go through the link. It'll help me out a lot. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button. And more exciting recipes are coming to you soon.